Welcome back to another one. I got something uh, interesting to show you here. Uh, it was, uh, of course, extremely cold this last weekend and that. Um, if you watched the last video, we did lose power there uh, on Saturday night here, just in town. Everybody else had power. It's just in town we lost power. Um, we uh, went down and borrowed a, the, uh, a generator from the city. Uh, friend of ours that actually is a city maintenance guy, but called them, got a generator and we hooked it up to the uh, the wood stove here to the front, to the blower motor so we could run the furnace because we had the wood stove. I had the wood stove going before the power went out, but so we got that hooked up so we could stay warm. So wife and kids and then a couple of neighbors of ours so we could come in here if we needed to. Um, we did hang out here for a little bit, but prior to that, I was painting some, uh, running boards for my truck and uh so i had the air compressor on of course and uh, painted got these all painted up and uh was working on that and i said so uh then i'm i happened to leave the air compressor on and i came out on that was uh saturday night so it must have been Sunday? Maybe that was Friday night. I guess at this point in time, I'm not gonna, not sure. I don't know. The next, I mean, it was Saturday night. We did lose power Saturday night. No, because it was, it wasn't. It was Friday night. We lost power Friday night. So we lost power Friday night, and that was when I was working on them. Uh, Saturday, I came out and my air compressor had it burst. It must have had moisture or something in the in the uh, relief valve, but and it popped and and was blowing air. So of course the compressor was running. Uh, I don't know how long it was running for. It's done it a couple times. When you forget to turn it off, it'll do that. And so I, but I got it. I shut it off and left it off, and no big deal. Uh, went over to a friend of ours' house and was went over to him, helped him out, dig himself, dig him out. Sunday, they had a. Uh, big drift they were uh drifted they had probably well was taller than i am so seven six and a half seven foot tall drift probably 35 40 feet wide and it was out in the yard at least 25 30 feet coming out um throughout the driveway and that but so went over and helped him get him dug out uh went over and dug my parents out and then was going to stop and stop and help or dig my grandma out a little bit but when i was helping a friend of ours the first house we were doing I ended up rolling the, the this tire off the bead on the skid loader, and it popped a bead. Uh, I actually had a tube in it, but it popped it off, and so it was just spinning. It was really, I mean, the, the rim would just spin, the tire wouldn't move. Uh, wasn't actually squatted at all, just didn't have any pressure to hold anything, so uh, it did pretty good. But I said it was just, once you got into the heavy stuff, you really couldn't push it. You had to scoop it and dump it somewhere else. Um, so, but I got home Sunday night, and... Uh, well, I stopped at the gas station and put put some number one diesel in this and then put some air in that got that tire back on the bead um didn't realize it was a tube at the time because it was snow packed around the valve stem so but it, it was holding air it seemed like it's holding air I thought oh good perfect so I went and dug my parents out and that when I got to grandma's house that's when I realized that it was off the bead again and by the time when I got home I dug that valve stem all the way out and realized it was a tube and then then I knew I was in trouble so but of course, I was trying to put air in that because I was going to help dig uh, Ryan Nicole out, my wife's cousin. It's actually his skid loader. We just park it in our garage because it won't fit in their garage. So, and he lets me use it. So, uh, so I figured I'd get them dug out since it's theirs. So I had to finish digging them out, I guess. So, I, I wouldn't take air. So, whatever. So, I went down and got them dug out. And with the flat tire and all, whatever, rolled tire spinning. So I just kind of helped dig them out a little bit. I said, there wasn't too bad. We did keep up on theirs over the weekend since they're just down the street. We could just drive down there. Wasn't that big a deal. Uh, and come out uh, Monday morning. And the compressor was running. Again. So we shut it off. And my wife shut it off. She's the one that found it Monday morning. She was going to work. Uh, they had teacher in service. Kids didn't have school because of holiday. But so she shut it off when she was heading to, heading to work and she told me it wasn't spinning very fast or whatever. So I come out and 
I thought, oh, great, you know, whatever. Well, I figured that hopefully it's just oil so cold it's hard to turn, but hopefully the motor didn't go out or the compressor's not out or didn't run out of oil. It was running for so long and whatnot. So I, I came out here and turned it on. The uh, walk over here and show you quick. Give me a second. When I come out here and turned it on, though, the pump was, wasn't uh, actually spinning. And I said, then it didn't spin and it had oil everything was good oil was just so thick it wasn't spinning uh when she'd come out she said it was just barely spinning so the pump was the motor was probably running real hard and the pump wasn't the pump really wasn't spinning at all but i turned it on and it was you the pump the motor kicked in right away so that wasn't burnt up thank, thank goodness and i said the pump just wasn't turning so i thought oh it smoked the belt or something but the belt was still on so then i come around here and seen that the pulley it wore the pulley out this was attached i did break this off when i was trying to get it off that motor uh but when it was sitting on the shaft up here i mean when it is up here you could see through this back side of this pulley like there's a lot of it where you could see through it where it really was just so thin in most of the spots uh and i said it's missing a lot of this it's hard to see but there's chunks here sitting here and there's a pile a pile of aluminum shavings there there's a pile of it on the floor where it just melted and kind of away that pulley and i said when i was trying to take it off it did take it take it or did uh break that break it the rest of the way on accident but uh i said i got i stopped and got a new pulley today though and i'll get it put back together i've just never seen that or never even seen anything like that where it just melts that pulley away. Like I said, normally it would smoke the belt and burn that belt up. Probably helped that it was aluminum pulley over a steel pulley, but I think I'd rather replace a $8 belt or whatever, but I guess the pulley was only like, it's only like 10 bucks for the pulley, so it's not too bad. And, uh, but it's probably easier to find a new pulley because the belt, I don't know what size it is. Or maybe I did write it down 49 and a half to 52 inch, but I don't know. I don't know what I got, but or what size or what size belt I end up getting when I had to put this compressor together. When I get this on here and get it measured out, I'll probably get that belt, and I'll go try to find a new belt. And whenever I find it, I'll end actually write belt size on here with it. I'm about to look around. I might have already done that. I thought maybe I did, but I don't know if I did. I couldn't see it anywhere. But that way, I know for the future what I what I had or what I need. So I think this belt will still work. For the time being but i said just get the new pulley put on there and go from there yeah i just i figured you guys might be might be uh, interested in seeing that i said i've never seen it before and or anything like that before i'd rather have a melted pulley or broken pulley in her belt than a motor being burnt up or the uh, compressor being out of oil and seized up and shot so but thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.